Become a sponge for knowledge. There's always something you can learn. I can learn something from you. I can learn something from you. I can learn something from anybody in this room. One of the things that I do is I like to go to influencers and experts and learn from them. Find out what is it that they're doing that the rest of us aren't. What is it that they've figured out that we could learn from? I've invested all of that into my mind. It's one of the things that you guys gotta be in your business and your life. You can learn the skills that these business owners don't know and they will pay you to do it. They'll pay you $5,000 to $10,000 a month to teach them social media or to do their social media for them, all right? So we're gonna watch this little short video. This is gonna give you an insight. I've got a little interview with, uh, with Ty. I said, yo man, I've got this program I'm doing. It's called From Orphan to CEO. I'm teaching kids that are aging out of the foster care system how to start their own business. What would you recommend that they do? This is what he said. We are at Ty Lopez's mansion right now, hanging out with little X. He drew a picture of Ty. <laughs> Looks just like him, doesn't it? Who's a classic e-commerce? <laughs> you just met Ty Lopez for the first time. What do you think? Lopez here and uh, we're talking about from orphan to CEO. Ty's going to give some quick tips on if you are just starting a business, what would you recommend? If you're 18 years old, two things. One, I would learn how to do social media marketing and then I'd get businesses to pay me one to ten thousand dollars a month to do their social marketing because if you're 18, most businesses, most business owners will only trust you with a few things because they think they know it all. But most old business owners don't think they know how to do Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. So I would do their Facebook ads, I'd fix their website, charge them a thousand bucks, tell them you're gonna get them more, more customers. That's the easiest business to start. Secondly, I would sell on Amazon or I would sell on ClickFunnels or Shopify. Find something you like. Amazon's a great place. 50% of the stuff being sold on Amazon it's not owned by Amazon, it's other independent sellers. Exactly. And then it doesn't matter if you're 15, 12, 200 years old, no one sees you. Yeah, I do. So no one cares how old you are. It makes it simple, right? And that's that simple, guys. You just have to really find something you love to do and be able to find something you can bring to the market that actually has value. So you hear from hear here first from Ty Lopez. This is Manny Lopez. No, we're not related. We're not related. Brother from another from brother from another mother. <laughs> Probably related, not too far. Probably right. you never know. You just never know. Are related, not too far back. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. All right, guys, we'll see you guys later. And always remember that you are too blessed to be stressed.
I am telling you, if you want to see lives transformed, lives of children that at one point had no hope, had no vision, and had no dreams, I'm telling you, you can't pay enough money to watch the faces of these kids go from grim to amazed. Hey there, this is Manny Lopez, and we are live at the Antelope Valley Partners for Health, where we just wrapped up my first ever taping of From Orphan to CEO. We had amazing people come out, all walks of life, from kids that were as low as three years old to, to, to grandparents of, of multiple grandchildren. And a lot of them from whether they're, you know, at-risk youth, they're former foster kids, they're, they're entrepreneurs themselves, they, they wanna start a business, they have a nonprofit, whatever it is, they all came in today to collaborate, to help these kids. The idea for this show, the idea for this event today was to prove the example, to show the work that I'm doing with these kids in foster care. You see, two out of three of these kids that are aging out of the foster care system are dead, homeless, or in jail within one year. That ends with me. The idea that I'm putting together for this show is to help these kids understand mentorship and entrepreneurship. The two things that they are missing in their life. Every single one of these kids that are dead, homeless, or in jail, they don't have mentors. They don't have entrepreneurship. They don't have life skills that teach them how to interact with people or how to build relationships or how to build business credit or how to start a business. Heck, they don't even know how to, to get a job let alone be able to operate a fully functional, successful business. These kids, all they did for the past five, six, seven, even 10 years is just survive. Survive, that was the only thing that they were able to do because a lot of times they're nothing more than a paycheck to these foster parents. And I wanna help them understand that there is more to life. So many times these kids got up on stage and they shared with me their stories, they shared with me their passion, they shared with me the ideas that they had and every single one of them were stuck. They were stuck at step one. They were stuck at, well, where do I go? How do I turn this into a, this idea into a business? How do I help these, these people I wanna help at the same time support myself? So many of these kids were telling me, well, I have this amazing cause and idea I wanna help. Like one of these kids, you know, he's like a 10 year old engineer who wants to bring light to Africa. He said, God says, let there be light. And that's his mission at just 10 years old. And now he can actually learn how to do that and turn that into a business with my program. And the idea is not to make money with it. The idea is to help serve people with it where you don't have to be a slave to a nine to five. You don't have to build somebody else's dream. You can build your own dream and also give back to amazing causes that you support, just like I do. See, Network of Influence, this is what this entire system is being funded by, is Network of Influence. It's a program I've created in my mobile app, Learn With Manny, that helps entrepreneurs collaborate with experts that get massive results. At the same time, 100% of those funds are funding the From Orphan to CEO project, where every single time we bring on a new customer, we're helping at least five to 10 kids be able to start their own business. This is the amazing work that this program is gonna do, and this is all started today. This was day one. This was ground zero, the number one place, the number one hotbed for foster kids in the entire US, Antelope Valley. I'm here at ground zero to stop this. I'm here making a change, and you guys can all be part of this journey as well. It's all about support, it's all about collaboration. I can't do this myself. I am one person in this world of seven billion people. If I can collaborate with people like you, people that see the vision of helping kids in foster care that are aging out, or at-risk youth, or abused children, or just people that are completely lost, if you can show them the way, why wouldn't you want to do that? You know how to do that. I know how to do that. I've created a way to be able to do that efficiently. And you can help me along this journey. Here's what you need to do, okay? Within my mobile app, the Learn With Manny app, has every resource you need, whether it's to be able to promote your business for free, whether it's to sponsor kids in our program, whether it's to nominate a kid in our program because you know somebody that needs our help, you can be able to be a part of this journey. So join us, I'd love to see you on the inside, and always remember that you are too blessed to be stressed. Thank you. Hi everyone, I just wanted to really share my experience today and kind of what I'm gonna be taking home from this experience today. Um, it's just really um, a message of hope. Um, I think we all have something to contribute and um, I know that I do, right? And so sometimes you have so many ideas and you don't even know where to start. And just hearing everyone talk today and really connecting 
with Manny has really instilled hope. It was, it was amazing to see and to feel because for me, even as a, a grown adult, I could just imagine what it would be for an adolescent, but for me, even as an adult, it was just a message of hope and that the dreams and the ideas that I do have can come to manifestation. And that is an amazing feeling. I recommend this experience to all and everyone. I want everyone to know there's purpose in our pain. This message is brought to you by Manny Lopez. From the start, it was hard, it was dark. At 18 months, me and my sister was left in a car. I was a foster kid, but I changed that no. I believe it was meant to be. Yeah. I went from an orphan to CEO. Orphan to CEO. Foster kids, that's my people, so I'm gonna help my people grow. You already know. I went from an orphan to CEO. Orphan to CEO. Foster kids, that's my people, so I'm gonna help my people grow. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh. I was lost working at 9 to 5 until I found a mentor. At the age 20, who taught me, man, there's so much more to live for. Stop building someone else's dream, man, he build your own. He lit that flame, I fan that flame. I know for real it's on. January 27, 2017 was the first time God ever spoke to me. I felt that Holy Spirit whisper in my ear. Man, he helped the orphans. You have no fear. Crazy opportunities happen since then. No more fear and let down. Working with Ty Lopez, I'm sharing the stage with Les Brown. Wanna teach business to the kids that's in the foster care. You're not alone. I am nervous, Manny Lopez. I went from an orphan to CEO. I want all you orphan to CEO. You know I got you. Foster kids, that's my people, so I'm gonna help my people grow. Nobody can stop me. I went stop from an orphan to CEO. God did what he did. Orphan to CEO. Now I know what it Foster is. Kids. That's my people, so I'm gonna help my people grow. Nobody oh, can stop whoa. me. Yeah, oh, you foster care kids. I know what it feel like not to have a parent. It's purpose in our pain. I'ma help you kids grow. Manny Lopez, your big bro. Off in the CEO. Here, here first from Ty Lopez. This is Manny Lopez. No, we're not related. Not brother from another, from, brother from another mother. Hey, Manny. Manny, they leaving the money out. What are they doing? You guys that are orphans and you want to get your money right so that you can be a CEO. You have something special. You have greatness in you. And Manny's a great leader and a very good friend of mine. And I'm looking forward to our sharing the stage together. Manny, it's time. My it's brother. time. Always remember that you are too blessed to be stressed. Thanks, Manny. Be great. We travel around the world and we go to these entrepreneur events and hundreds of them that we've been to, hundreds of them that we've been on their stage and they're all about selling, they're all about making money, they're all about uh, collecting fame, blowing up on social media, but the reason why we wanted to take this one, we were trying to do anything in our power to make this happen, get this event, is because of that word right sir. there, and that's sir. So let's give it up for Manny and the entire team for uh, my people so I'm gonna help my people grow Oh, whoa Manny Lopez Mr. Orphan the CEO So even if you don't believe in yourself or even if your parents who are supposed to believe in you don't believe in you but one person does it changes everything So I say to you what are you willing to do? What are you willing to do to be successful? What kind of sacrifices are you willing to make?
I got into drugs, and you know, listening to Ken Shamrock's story, it was the same thing for me. I had a plan, and my plan was to get what I wanted, and that was to be an athlete. I didn't know anything else, and I was told I couldn't. Welcome, people. This is segment one of the vlog. I got a muffin. It was tasty. <laughs> so much things to get done. So little time. We have begun. I got the behind the scenes video. And then actually, and then Chris can sit down all day too. I believe that we were not born to work for a living, but to live our making. Some of that greatness. <laughs> there we go. It's a manner on my blog. <laughs> uh, you have something special. You have greatness in you. So, uh, John Leslie, where did he go? Is he gone already? Who knows? Who knows? It might be the after party. But I gotta get cute, man. <laughs> and she can make you look even better. Those who really know me. No, I love blueberry muffins. So, it's like in the where the NASA flag was, or just like smart, but smart. A good See, guy. <laughs> you just threw me under the bus right there. Being authentic is being wrong, being real. Serving your way to success, it works. It really, it really it works. Absolutely does. Because if you saw his work ethic, if you saw his discipline, if you saw the amount of people that he cares about for no reason, or the fact that he's interested in their lives and the fact that they live a good life. You understand that you don't need a cape to be a superhero, but you might just need a beard and some Claro. <laughs> We're here with Sherry. What's up, Sherry? Say hey, Larry. Hey, everybody. We've got Tamara over here. Tamara, is it Lennon? Lennon? Lin you got the weirdest name. Tamara Lennon. Lennon. See, she got like four, 48 pronunciations. <laughs> really does mess. She's like, if my real friends, they know me. I could. Is that <laughs> you can take a photo with that. You got it? Oh, you got it. Oh, look at that, the hard hurt of that. Yeah. Too blessed to be stressed. <laughs> we can do it right here. You feeling blessed over here? Feeling blessed. And uh, too blessed to be stressed. Too blessed. He knows, he knows. The question being is will you be that one? Will you be that one to let your goals and dreams slip away and not share your personal greatness with the world? Good thing. Good thing. Good thing. Good thing. Good thing. Good thing. I was born in an abandoned building on the floor with a twin brother. I am a foster kid. And I was a doctor. Hello, hi, how are you? We just finished here and we had a great time. You have something special, you have greatness in you, and Manny's a great leader and a very good friend of mine, and I'm looking forward to our sharing the stage together with Manny. It's time. It's time, yes. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Woo! Go. I met you 2012, the EO space. You probably don't remember. 
It was a while back. I was about 40 pounds heavier, and I looked like a naked turtle. It was bad. <laughs> but you inspired me because my mentor originally introduced me to you via YouTube. That you got to listen to this guy by the name of Les Brown. He's an orphan, just like you. He's been able to overcome so many challenges that he's had in his life. And now he's created all this success. He inspires millions around the world. And the question I have, what would you say to an orphan sitting in front of you right now that is lost, who has maybe been abused, maybe been neglected, maybe he's had difficulties in their life that they have no idea how to get over? How would you inspire that person? Well, first thing I would say that you have something special. You have greatness in you. That you were created on purpose, for a purpose, with a purpose. And we go through a variety of things in life, but ultimately you have the power in your hands to decide this is not going to determine who I am. And I'm going to make something of myself in spite of this. You know, we, we're taught in in the book of life, forgetting those things which are behind, reaching forth unto those things which are before, we press toward the mark of the higher calling. But I woke up one night and there was a movie on called Magnolia. I've never seen the whole movie, but there was a line that I heard was starring Tom Cruise and I couldn't go back to sleep. And the line was, we might be through with our past, but our past is not through with us. But there are things that we experience particularly between age zero and seven, the gesture would say, give me a baby and I'll give you a man at seven. But there are things that we experience that help to create and formulate the image that we have of ourselves and that we have to engage in an ongoing process to discover who are we really? Who are we? Hey guys, this is Manny Lopez and we just wrapped up another From Orphan to CEO event. We're back here at the Antelope Valley, the number one hotbed for orphans and kids in foster care. You see, I started this program as a way to be a way out, an opportunity for these kids that are aging out of the system because see, here's the thing, two out of three of these kids within just one year of exiting our foster care system, which is really supposed to give them the resources and the education, everything they need to be successful, right? Well, see, here's what happens. Two out of three of these kids are dead, homeless, or in jail within just one year of leaving this system. They don't have the things that help me succeed, which is mentorship and entrepreneurship. And this is what we're teaching these kids. We're here at the Antelope Valley Partners for Health, and what we're doing is we're kidding these kids, sitting them down, and really just mapping out strategy and success, saying, what is it that you love to do? What is it that's something that you could turn into a business? And we're really making that happen. So part of our program is we're teaching these kids these skills, we're giving them the opportunities, giving them the tools they need to be successful. And it's all funded by entrepreneurs like you. People that join our network of influence, they get a mobile app through my company, they show up and do part of our programs. The idea is really just about education and collaboration. So if you're an entrepreneur, join us. If you're a former foster kid, join us. We wanna help, we have massive opportunities and we have ways to help you. And always remember that you are too blessed to be stressed. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that.